Stephen Malvin, different hero. See, actually, cooking is a creative art. Sometimes, two different cooks, when they are given the same ingredients, they might come out with a different result, right? You have you done that before? You know, you're given different thing, and then uh, away you go. To prove my point, I have a special film insert to show you. We we were given an apple, and just look at this. We were given an apple each, and told to start. Look at that. We use a different knife. But we are doing something that we never rehearsed before. Actually, we don't know what the heck the other guy was doing. We were given one minute to finish our project, and the winner will win all those money. Look at that. They put all the bet on the chef, but none on my side. Well, I guess I have to walk my butts off to prove my point. So you can see, we were concentrating on our walk. I'm just getting there, getting myself organized. I didn't have time to take a look what he was doing. Honestly, we never rehearsed this before. There you are, I was putting the head and neck to the apple and push it back. And I was finished. And I start eating the apple. That was fun. I guess I win all the money from there. As you can see, he's getting it ready. And two kinds of apple. Apple bird. What a performance. What a performance, you know, two different results from the same kind of apple. Now, in this show, I'm going to show you what we can do. One fish to cook two dishes. Very exciting. All you have to do is just walk over to the counter with me, and we'll show you what I mean. Okay, shall we go? Right here. Before I do any cooking, I'd like to uh, read a little note that was sent in uh, by one of the fans. Now, if you have some nice pro poem or some nice song or some nice apron, just write to me and I would appreciate it. I read this out in the air and then uh, everybody can enjoy it. How's that? Now, this one here, it says, Violets are blue. You will be too if the test was over before you are through. To celebrate this special occasion that we are going to cook the fish right here, I have a special cap, you know, right here. I want to show you. <laughs> now, yeah, he's going to go. <laughs> right on. Thank you. Actually, the fish, you know, is very good. It's a very low fat. It's very easily digestible, but it's very high in protein and low calorie. So for people who are looking for that kind of diet, fish is a good way. And I happen to have one big salmon, you know, right here. Oh, it's just gorgeous, you know, right here. Isn't it great? Head and tail, everything is on. And then I'll use it to cook two dishes. One with the peaches, oh, exciting. And the other one with the mushroom. All done in this show. Now you can see all those, uh, called the snow peas, right here. Just copy all this thing down, and I'll show you how. All right? <laughs> Thank you. Now, remember on the film insert, we show you different cook can prepare your food in a different way. And I have a special apron just for that. You just look at this. Now, I have a special treat for you because I have a nice salmon here. It was brought in by my friend. Yeah, his name is Scott. And believe it or not, he's a young man, but he's the owner of a fish shop. Now, let's a big hand for Scott. Come on, Scott. Let's go. There you are. Good. How are you doing? Very 
good. And I have a special apron just for Scott who brought me this salmon. Would you like to see it? Sure, why not? What the heck? Are you ready for that? There you are. Ha! <laughs> oh, that's terrific. Okay. Now, this is a salmon. What kind of salmon is it, eh? That's a coho salmon. Coho salmon. Why? Why do you call it coho? Do you mean two hoes together? No. Coho. Coho. Ho, ho, ho. Now, this is it. Now, how, how do you shop for a good fish? You know, I know you're the owner of a fish store, and you must know the good way to shop for a fish. A okay. good fish. Yep. You want Whenever you get a fresh fish, you want one that's nice and firm. Yeah. You touch your finger to it. Touch so it. So it's right. spring, spring back. That's right. It should have lots of scales on it, not too many missing. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Did you count them? Let's see. Count them? Well, there's six. One and one and uh, two, three, four. Oh, they're all there anyway. If you don't believe me, you just count it yourself. Okay, then what happened? Okay, then you look in, you can look in the belly, all the bones should be intact. Okay. Like they are, of course. They're all there. Sure. Good. This is a good belly dancer, isn't it? Cute. <laughs> then what else? Ah, clear eyes. Clear eyes. Yeah. That's right. On a clear day, you can see forever. <laughs> <laughs> and then what else? <laughs> That's right. Thank you. Well, there you are. What about the gill? So Do you look at the gill once in a while? Yeah, there's no gills in there. There's no gill. Well, because clean. uh, you cleaned it up for me. That's right. But there's one thing you haven't cleaned yet. Scales. The scale. Well, uh, do you need any special thing to clean your scale? No, you can do it just about anything, actually. No, you're kidding. Well, just about anything. Just about anything? Sure. You're kidding? Well, you gotta be reasonable How here. about a spatula? <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? Do you think he can make it? Yeah. Oh, hey, hey. Oh, boy. There you are. Now, let's see how Scott, you know, is doing this. Oh, boy, what the heck? Now, here's you see how scaling. easy it come off? Just yeah, go. you bet. It's very easy. Against the grain and... A, a grain is a grain. Yeah, all, they all lay down that way. So Do you, you have to hang way. on the tail or hang on to the head? Uh, hang on to one or the other. <laughs> What's that? You want head or tail? Now, that's it. You're walking along very well. Gee, fantastic. Look at that. Take a look at this crossing. You see all the scale coming. I'm glad I don't have to do the floor. <laughs> so am I. <laughs> wow, you're doing a great job. Okay. You know, there you are. Okay. Rinse her off and that's right. it. Right. You want to walk over there and rinse it off and I'll clean up this thing for you. Just like that. And then get a wet towel. Oh, what the heck. I'm glad I have some water here. Otherwise, we'll be really in trouble. Are you ready? Ready? There. That's all clean. Oh, that's fantastic. That's good, eh? All right. Now, last time when I saw you, you fillet your fish so fast, I just couldn't believe it. Do you still remember your trick? No trick. No trick? No trick. Why no trick? I don't know. Practice makes perfect. I guess so. <laughs> All right. Okay. Now, I, you folks, you know, last time he was called the fastest filleter in town. And this time, I want to really test it. Now, uh, are you ready? You get your knife? Now. And then away we go. Here we go. Here you are. Let's go. Keep going. Now, see how fast it's going. Keep your eyes open. Just relax. Look at that. Holy smoke. Wow. Isn't it an eye-opening experience? <laughs> Could be called that. Oh, boy. No. Oh, fantastic. Hey, look at that. Hey. Whoa. Wow. Hang on. Hey, hey, hey. Good. Hey, that's it. You're doing a big job. Now, okay. I think he only did it in about, you know, five or ten seconds. But that I'm was finished. Oh, you're not finished? Not finished. Get well, them away the there. Are. Get them away. You are doing the belly, is it? That's right. Belly bone. Okay. Now, you're, you're using just an ordinary knife. That's just, just an ordinary knife. It has to be fairly sharp. I see. That's okay. I guess so. All right. So we get going like that. You can use all those uh, fish belly bone to make fish soup. Why not? Hey? Now, then we just save this, you know. Okay, now, then what do we do? We are going to uh, take away this knife. I don't like that knife. And then we are going to cut this thing into uh, two parts. You know, right here, one part. Now, you want to hang on to this. You hang on, just put it on your hand. That's right. And you hang on this for the other hand. And then we can cook up this. Now, you hang on, hang on, and don't walk away. That's it, that's it. Now, that's the way to keep my squat, you know, busy. <laughs> 
Now all you have to do, just uh, what are we going to do now? We are going to uh, sprinkle this fish, you know, right here. Sure. Actually, you can put it down. I give you a plate. You can put it down, and you can start helping. That's right. Now sprinkle some salt, a little bit, on the top and the bottom. That's right. Okay. How are you doing? And then we heat up the wok here. Hmm. Walk, walk here, and walk, walk there. <laughs> walk, walk everywhere. Thing that's Thing right. Everywhere. Okay. Thing that means it's ready to cook. <laughs> so you heat up the wok, and two tablespoons go. One, and then two. That's right. Now then, what do we do? Then we sprinkle some uh, of this uh, ordinary wonder powder. Okay. Now, so that you can help to keep all the meat together. Why is the meat of the the color of the meat you know look so red, uh, Scott? Well, it's fish, food the fish eat, I guess. That's right. I thought the, the fish is shy or something. Well. So red. <laughs> Got joke. you. That's right, it's such a joker. Now then you use a walk to do the walk and roll. Do you do walk and roll? There you are. <laughs> That's great. Now then you put the fish, you know, right down there. Oh, there. Put it there. Mmm, put the another one. There you are. Put another one. Mmm. Now just put it like this. Put the meat side down first, right? Right. So that we can brown it a little bit. That's all we are, we are, we are doing. Okay, now you take a look at this uh, fish. Take a close look, and then you see what I mean. Okay, now take a close look. It looks gorgeous, isn't it? Yeah. Now, then you get your wok organized. And then now we have to make our special, you know, our sauce, you know, right here. Using some of this. Hmm. Can you pass me uh, some of the peaches over there, and I'll show you how. Okay, now, th would you like to cut all those peaches into slices? Using the cleaver. The cleaver. Yeah, that's right. That's what game. it is. Has to be good. Now, then I will use this wok to wok up a stall. All right. Depends on how much time we have. Now, we don't have much time, so all we have to do is just make our sauce. You know, right here? Okay, one tablespoon of wonder powder dissolving in some water. How are you doing? How about cut this thing for me? Small one. That's right, you're doing great. Okay, heat up the wok. It's hot. Hot wok. Right. Okay, then you two tablespoons of oil. One, and then two. How are you doing? It's coming. You're coming. So am I. <laughs> if you're not doing well, then you'll be going. <laughs> Let's put it there. And then put your hair. Now get our spatula. And then turn our fish. You know, a little bit. Now, there, look at this. Oh, gorgeous. You know, there. Hey, isn't it gorgeous looking now? This is hot. What we are going to do is put all those things here. The pepper and the uh, peaches. You know, right here. Put it together. And get our sauce lotion. Oh, looks good. Now, then what do we do? Okay, Scott. Would you like to get this fish, you know, right? Right on the plate. That's right. That's it. Now, just leave it to walk there. Don't walk away with my walk. That's all you have to do. You're doing great. There. Okay, that's right, just right on top. And then we pour this uh, peach sauce right on top, right here. Now don't walk away, I'll be right back after this message. of the fresh salmon to uh, cook this uh, special fish ball with the mushroom. Now, all you have to do is just cut up your fish into a small square or cube, whatever you want to call. So don't make it too small because the salmon, you know, the meat, they don't stay together that well for this kind of cooking. So you have to uh, do something about it. Now, what do we do about it? We are going to marinate this with some salt and pepper first. Okay, salt and pepper. There you are, get some salt. Assault your fish. <laughs> and put a little bit of pepper. Yeah, yeah, it's a freshly ground. There, then what do we do? We use some of this uh, <laughs> wonder powder. Hey, you wonder what it is? <laughs> this is a kind of a very fine uh, tapioca starch. It works like wonder. That's why I call it wonder powder. Boy, what a name. 
people always wonder what the heck it is. <laughs> now just do this. Make sure you put the wonder powder, otherwise all the meat will fall off, you know, break apart. Except breaking up is hard to do, but not on this. <laughs> now all you have to do is just heat up some oil. Look at that. Heat up some oil in your wok, and then you can put all the fish, you know, in. Now make sure the oil is hot. Now how do you know it's hot? Use a Chinese thermometer, of course. <laughs> now you see this. Look at that, see a lot of bubble around? That's the, the indication that the oil is hot. So don't start your trouble. Otherwise you have a walk full of trouble. All right, now just put it in. Put all those fish, you know, right in. Now, okay, make sure it's hot. That's all you have to do. Okie dokie, now there. Now just leave the fish in, don't stir too much. Because the salmon, they can go very flaky. Flaky, that means break into a small pieces. Now all you have to do now is just get some ginger root. Ginger root, there. Cut it into small slices first. And then you cut it into sliver, just like that. Slowly but surely, there. Oh, isn't that simple? When you have the cleaver, you can do anything. Okay, there. If you like, you can get a little bit piece of uh, green onion. Cut it about two inches long. Is it two inches, you know, there? I think it's a little bit uh, too much. <laughs> well, that's a three inches. <laughs> okay. Right, now then, then you just cut this in half, just like this. Press it a little bit, and then you can cut it into long slivers, you know, just like this. Oh, this is terrific. Okay, now there. Very easy. Then you heat up your wok, wok it up. And then while you're waiting, you get a little bowl to make your uh, sauce. See, uh, quite often when you order Chinese food, the food comes out so shiny and nice. That's the result of this wonder powder. One tablespoonful. And you put some of this water, you know, right here. About a quarter cup of water. That's all you have to do. And then once in a while, you say hello to the fish. Hello. <laughs> One more time, say hello. Right. Okay, then you put a little bit oyster flavor sauce. That's right, oyster flavor. That's all you have to do. And few drops of sesame seed oil. <laughs> sesame seed oil. Give it a nice aroma. Okay, the other water is ready. Put a little bit of oil there. Borrow some oil from the fish. And then you put your ginger and onion. And a little bit of uh, mushroom. Mmm, nice mushroom. Oh. Two kinds of mushroom here. We have the button mushroom and also the straw mushroom. And then you can throw in some of the snow peas, you know that. Oh, the whole thing looks just gorgeous. Isn't it? Oh, yeah. Mmm, terrific. Then you put a little bit of salt, sprinkle a little bit, some Chinese cooking wine, couple shots. <laughs> what the heck? Now mix it up. Mmm, just terrific, gorgeous. Ah, mmm. I can hardly wait. Now, depends on how much time you have. See? All you take this couple minutes. Then you just get yourself organized. You can decorate your dish. Just like that. Oh, I just happen to have some of this unusual parsley and unusual red tomato. This is cherry tomato. This one here. Okay. Now, then you go back and see you have to mushroom. And then go back and see your tomato. <laughs> okay. Now, then what do we do? Add a little bit of uh, water. So they, the whole thing is ready. And then you put all the sauce in. Mmm. Very big. Mmm. That is outstanding. Then you can throw this away. There you are. Walk back and forth. Speed up your counter. Pretend that you know what's going on. Then you get the, your fish out. Oh, okay, you're fishing that. Look at that, the fish is fantastic. Oh, oh. The good time of tiny cooking. Now you mix this. Okay, now there you are. The salmon with the fish ball. Now look at this, it looks gorgeous. I'm going to come back and show you how to serve this. Don't walk away. I'll be right back after this message. Thank you. There you are. Oh, one fish. You know, for 
for two different dishes. Here you are, you see this salmon fish ball with the two kinds of mushrooms that I just walked out for you. And walk over there, you see my salmon filet with the peach sauce, specially just for you. Hello, Scott. I see. Wow, that was quite a show that you put on. Bad. Not bad. It is every day, every day walk. Is it what it is? You every do this every walk. day. That's good. Okay, now, would you like to try one of these fish here? Do you eat salmon, by the way? Yeah. Excellent <laughs> stuff. <laughs> what can I say? What can you say? Yeah, you go ahead and eat that, and I read the fortune cookie for you. You go ahead. I do the talking, you do the eating. This show is 271. You want another one? Yeah. Why not? What the heck? Keep it coming. Use a spoon. <laughs> and then try it with your chopsticks. See, there you are. This is a delivery service. Okay, now, here's a very appropriate uh, fortune cookie saying. He said, Ji gei ji bei bak jin bak sing. You know what it means is this. You have to know yourself as well as your enemy so that you can win the war. You have to know, right? Make sense? Okay. Yeah, right. Go ahead and eat it. My goodness, this really means a lot. I think I'll keep this, you know, and uh, it's it's fantastic. Fun. Okay. How, how is the, the mushroom or the pepper? Peppers are really good. Try really? mushroom too. The mushroom? No. <laughs> Use your finger. That's right. <laughs> that's the boy, that's the boy. Okay. Now, I'll get you one of these uh, peaks, you know, here, and then see how it is, eh? Now, there you are. That's you're quite having trouble getting that one out. I know, I have no problem, because I can walk quite well. <laughs> now, you carry on and enjoy all those things, and then folks at home. Boy, we've been having a lot of fun. Like any other show, all you have to do, just turn us on, and then we'll walk them all for you. See you next time. Bye-bye. For today's fantastic recipe, please send a self-addressed stamp envelope to this address.